Okay, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Business Essentials on uh, May 14th. Our guest speaker today is Lawrence Nashbaum. He's a senior consultant with Environmental Innovations, and he's the project lead for the San Mateo County Green Business Program. Lawrence has over 20 years of experience as a leader in the environmental certification and market-based sustainability sustainability area. So uh, keep muted everybody. You can use the chat to uh, load your questions in and we'll get to your questions at the end of Lawrence's presentation and take it away Lawrence. Thank you. Great. Hi everyone. Thanks for having me here. Um, this partnership with the San Mateo Area Chamber of Commerce has been really um, beneficial for us. We started um, working with them about a year ago to bring our green business program out to the community. Um, and the first thing we did was work with the chamber office to go through the process themselves. So we went through all their uh, business practices, looked, which I'm gonna talk about today, looked at their uh, recycling, looked at um, some of their paper use and actually got the, the chamber involved in the program. So the San Mateo County Area Chamber is a certified green business. Um, and then they've been helping us bring it out, yes. Thank you for all that hard work. And then they've been helping us bring it out to, um, to the community. And we've recently launched a partnership with the chamber to bring our program out to more um, underserved portions of the San Mateo um, community. So we really appreciate that partnership. And it's great to be here today to present to all of you. Um, I'm not sure who all is in the audience, but I prepared my presentation for the business community. We serve small and medium sized businesses. So if you are a service provider to uh, that community or to those businesses, this will be a benefit, but it's oriented as though I am talking to small business owners, just so we know. So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen here. Let me make sure I get to the right place. And uh, present from the beginning. Okay. Great. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Great. We can. Um, fantastic. Um, so, to start with, oh, let's see, why isn't it filling up my screen? Uh, let's give me a second, everyone, just to get the right uh, presentation here. I just wanted to show all of my screens here, not the one I'm looking for. Um, of course, we're all dealing with technology uh, issues, so I appreciate it. We're all learning. I know. <laughs> we're all learning as we go here. Um, that's not the one either. Okay, this should be my presentation. You can see my screen, right? Yes, full screen. Great, okay, thanks for your patience. So, um, uh, like I said, we worked with San Mateo Chamber to get them green business certified, and what I'm gonna talk about today is um, what our green business program is, but more importantly, what it means to be green, um, why it's important, and, and why now, during um, this crazy time when people have so many, you know, immediate priorities in terms of staying in business and, um, you know, keeping your uh, employees on payroll and 
keeping the doors open and figuring out how, you know, how, how you're going to adapt as a business. So why is this relevant now? Um, and the first thing I want to talk about to launch us is, um, you know, this concept of, you know, we hear a lot of people talking about this great pause, right? So, uh, um, I, I first, I want to recognize that, um, I realize that, you know, many, many businesses are struggling right now, um, just to keep their doors open. And so as the green business program, you know, we're really sensitive to that. We're sort of re orienting our program, at least during this time, to how we can benefit businesses, how we can help businesses through this process. And, um, you know, there's this concept that you know, as, this, as the economy recovers and we get back to sort of business as, no uh, back to normal, as it were, um, you know, we have an opportunity to reinvent how we do business. Um, how we uh, build resiliency, how we come back uh, with more um, uh, uh, sound economic practices, how we can save money, how, uh, and, and in a larger sense, how we relate to our community, how we relate to our supply chain, how we relate to our customers. Um, and that presents an opportunity for us to really look at the greening up of our practices as a way to come back strong, um, you know, when we re-enter the economy. And so why green? Uh, in the kind of the broad sense, beyond just our green program. Um, you know, the first thing that we mentioned, and it's really important during this time, is the cost savings associated with conservation. Uh, utility bills, energy, water, garbage, those are direct cost savings associated with conservation measures um, and general operational efficiency. Uh, so that's really, that's kind of the big one. It's like save money. It's sort of a no brainer. Uh, conservation equals money savings. Um, some other reasons to do this is to improve employee wellness and productivity. Um, one by using less toxic products in the environment, but also by increasing engagement. Um, you know, employees feel good about, uh, uh, I'm sorry, em yeah, employees feel good about their employer when they know that their employer is taking care of the environment, taking care of the community, and taking care of them. Um, and it generally increases productivity uh, and, and longevity and retention. Uh, another reason to go green is the rewards, recognition, promotion, community goodwill that come along with demonstrating your green commitment. And we're able to offer that at the, through the Green Business Program. There's also a marketing edge over the competition. We did a survey of all our green businesses and 42% of them reported a direct increase in business uh, because, uh, due to their certification. And that's a direct increase. So that's not the indirect, they save money from uh, energy efficiency or the access and rebates. That's direct consumer support to their business beca because they were green and uh, marketed and promoted it as such. And then the last thing I wanna mention here is the general support for the community and the environment to demonstrate leadership. And it's just the right thing to do. Oops, I lost my... Uh, so at the green business program, the basic concept is that we encourage green businesses practices through incentives, through rewards, and through lots of help. We're accelerating the adoption of green practices through our program and making it really easy, making it accessible, making it beneficial. So essentially what we do is we provide free technical and financial assistance to small and medium sized businesses. We offer an easy to use framework for evaluating and improving upon your practices. And then we recognize and promote businesses for their green accomplishments. Uh, and in doing so, we're providing a local green marketplace for consumers and employers. So how the program works, basically the San Mateo County Green Business Program is housed in the San Mateo County Office of Sustainability. We also operate as part of the statewide green business network, which is a network of 40 different green business programs in cities and counties throughout the state. Um, within our county program, we coordinate with local cities, with the waste haulers, and with other community partners to bring resources 
uh, to get resources into the hands of businesses. Funding for the program comes directly from San Mateo County, as well as the state of California. So in San Mateo County, we, uh, to date, we have 106 businesses certified under the program. We have 80 in-process businesses, which means that these are businesses that are registered on the site and we've been working with them in, um, in some capacity to help them improve practices, to meet the checklist items with a goal towards becoming certified. Uh, I mentioned there's 40 programs around the state and overall, there's now over 3,800 recognized businesses. So it's 3,800 certified green businesses in the state of California uh, within all these different 40 programs. And again, 106 of those are in San Mateo County. Um, so this slide's a little outdated, but I just wanna show that collectively with all these businesses, we're having a huge impact. You know, sometimes a small business is like, well, I'll recycle this or I'll change out this cleaning product, but I'm not gonna ha really have a big, uh, much of a big impact. But in reality, when we bring all these programs together, we have a huge impact. 50 million kilowatts of energy saved, 110,000 metric tons of greenhouse gas reductions, 64 million gallons of water saved. Um, and I have these numbers specifically for the county as well. Um, and the savings are significant. So we're having a significant impact with this program. Before I move on to what the program entails, I just want to talk right away about what the program benefits are. So in addition to just the general benefits of being a green operation, uh, the efficiency and um, the marketing, the employer retention, uh, the things I mentioned earlier, our program provides specific resources for businesses to green up their operations. The first is access to rebates and funding. So we actually have, um, we help broker the relationships with existing and available funding programs, which I'm gonna talk about in a bit. We also have our own rebate program within the California Green Business Network. Right now we're offering a $500 per business rebate to meet any of the items required to become green business certified. So that could be lighting upgrades, um, uh, changing out a toilet to a low flow toilet, buying green cleaning products. Um, we provide, for certified businesses, we provide the use of the green business logo, which could be used in marketing and promotion on the websites, uh, et cetera, in, in collateral materials. We give all our businesses a window decal that they could put in the window, which is particularly relevant for the retail businesses that we work with. We provide a framed wall certificate that is signed by the County Board of Supervisors. So the Board of Supervisors recognizes all our certified businesses. We include businesses in our green business directory, which is an online directory for all of the California green businesses. We also have a phone app uh, a shop that we call Shop Green, which lists all the green business businesses around the state of California. There's a mapping feature. It sort of works like Yelp, but for green businesses. We do a variety of mixers and award ceremonies throughout the year to recognize green businesses. We offer social media promotion right away. When a business gets certified, we do a boosted ad on Facebook and Instagram uh, to promote these businesses. We do a variety of other print and digital advertising, and we provide a marketing toolkit of different um, ready-made art and graphics and language that you can use to promote uh, the green business certification as a tool to promote your business more broadly. Um, here's an example. I just want to show you of a recent ad campaign we, we did. We do quite a bit of these through the, through, throughout the year. This is one that we did as a response to COVID-19. We reallocated some of our funding to do ads for businesses that we know are still operating in some capacity, either as an essential business or they've shifted to online sales. Um, and we did and we're, this is an ongoing, um, an ongoing campaign. Maybe some of you have seen these ads on your social media, but we're basically doing ads for individual businesses to encourage consumers to support, to support them, support your green business, local green businesses during this time. These ads are getting an incredible amount of engagement. This is like more engagement than we've ever gotten on any of our social media campaigns. So it just shows that you know, consumers are, are, are interested and willing and ready to support their local businesses. Um, and the green recognition um, is just kind of another way that people can feel good about supporting local businesses. And it's a way that we are supporting these businesses through our marketing. So 
into some of the nitty gritty. So what does it mean to be a green business? Just sort of in general, these are some of the things that a green business might do. Reduce water use. So low flow uh, toilets and um, faucets that shut up automatically. Conserving energy using LED lighting and equipment. Um, preventing pollution through eliminating harmful chemicals, using green chemicals instead of toxic chemicals, um, like non-toxic cleaners, for example, uh, avoiding waste. So um, eliminating unnecessary packaging or printing or purchasing, of course, recycling materials to diverse waste from the landfill. Uh, and also we have some community measures to uh, hire local vendors, support the local community. So it's kind of a snapshot of what some of the things a green business might do. In terms of our framework, we have seven areas of focus that we look at during the certification process. And these include energy conservation, pollution prevention, solid waste and recycling, transportation alternatives, wastewater, basically preventing um, uh, polluted water from entering the storm drains and entering our waterways, and then water conservation in general in terms of low flow water, um, uh, fixtures in the business, as well as various conservation measures. Uh, as I mentioned, we also have a community um, area of focus, which focuses on um, local vendors, supporting the local community, providing educational opportunities for employee, employees, those kind of things. So we're doing our time. Um, so the certification process consists of registering on our online tracker. So all of our measures are available uh, through an online database and any business can access this checklist and use it as sort of a self-assessment um, guidance process to go through uh, to green up their operation. Uh, now, once you register on the tracker, we basically will schedule an initial site visit where we review the measures together. Now, site visits are not happening right now, but we are doing virtual site visits and phone calls and looking at various ways that we can collect the information to, um, to determine whether the business is meeting our measures. Uh, and then step three is we implement the measures. So once we identify which measures are already met and which additional measures would need to be met to be green business certified, we then help implement those measures finding resources, rebates, we'll do direct research if it, products need to be changed out. We really handhold the business to get them uh, to meet these green business measures. Um, step four is an audit and compliance check. So once we complete all the measures on the checklist, we verify again that they are all met, that we have uh, any supporting documentation. And what, once that is done, we go ahead and issue our certification to the business. That is about a six week process that we allocate to do that. Sometimes it takes a little bit more, sometimes it takes less. We like to go through this five step process in about six weeks. Um, I wanna show you what the online tracker looks like. Again, a business can access any of this information online. It's very easy to use. Um, you could look here at the first measure. We utilize clearly labeled recycling bins. Um, great, you check off yes. Maybe you include a picture of it. Um, or any documentation. Um, if not, the auditor, myself, or somebody from my team will come in and verify that yes, indeed, you have labeled recycling bins. Um, right now, we're not able to do it on site. You could send us a photo of it. Uh, we could do FaceTime uh, virtual audits, which we've been doing um, some of as well. Um, but all this is available online. I also wanna mention that this is sort of an, a, an option for the business. So this is an optional tool. If the business chooses not to do this online process because you don't have time, um, it seems too complicated, we will do this for you. We will actually fill in the online tracker for you, but you have access to this. And there's some functionality in our database in terms of producing reports that you could include, um, you know, in your own sort of outreach and, and uh, uh, education uh, and marketing campaigns as well. So I want to mention that we have a few different tiers of certification. Really, we focus on the certification tier, this full tier, which entitles a business to the full benefits that I mentioned earlier. Uh, the certificate, the use of the logo, a window decal. However, we also have this entry level tier, which we call efficiency tier. And we call it efficiency tier because these are the measures that really help a business 
save money. Um, so they're just direct benefits to the business to do our efficiency tier certification. And this is a stepping stone to the full certification. And I mention this now because during this time, mm -hmm. during the COVID pandemic, when businesses are maybe, um, you know, they're strapped on the one hand, maybe they're sort of reevaluating on the other hand, taking on an entire certification uh, uh, process may seem overwhelming, but the efficiency tier level certification is only the first 10 or 11 measures. So it's a little bit more uh, accessible as sort of a stepping stone to enter into this process. Um, and some of the things that, that are included in the efficiency checklist are the LED lighting, uh, using eco uh, certified cleaning products, having the low flow water fixtures, recycling, um, commuter options to support the regional transportation initiatives and having a set environmental policy that outlines your commitment to, um, to meeting these measures and protecting the environment through your business operations. So I want to answer this, uh, this question of why now? So there's benefits to being green. We offer benefits through our green business program. We handhold, offer assistance, rebates, et cetera. But why now during this time? And, and there's a couple of things. Um, one is related to building business resiliency. We're sort of you know, hearing a lot about, about resiliency. How do we create resiliency within our businesses? One, so that we could come back strong um, uh, during, our econo during the economic recovery, but also how are we resilient so that we can um, you know, withstand another major interruption like this in the future. And some of our green business tools um, can kind of help us get to that. Um, some of the, um, you know, the, some of the commuter uh, um, um, measures um, for remote working, um, some of the efficiency measures just in terms of saving money, um, cost savings, just so we're not so vulnerable um, you know, during, during these, these times of, um, of crisis. Um, a lot of businesses right now are going through a reevaluation of their core processes and ultimately their, their mission. So, you know, how do you, you know, how do you want to come back, you know, strong when entering the economy, um, you know, operate more efficiently, cut costs, what kind of relationship do you want to have to your supply chain, to your customers, to your community, um, you know, here's an opportunity to rebrand, to come back strong with a strong branding commitment that says, yes, we, you know, we supported our community during COVID-19 and now we're coming back and we're going to, we're even more committed to supporting our community, supporting the environment, being responsible stewards of our planet, of our region, of our communities. Um, I mentioned the areas of efficiency and cost savings. Those are very direct. Um, and then the other thing for right now, we have funding available to work with businesses. We have a $500 per business rebate to meet any of these green business measures. We are working on a $500, what we're calling prebate. Uh, this has not been approved yet, but um, it should be relatively soon where we will actually purchase um, materials for the business. Uh, in advance. Now, these are for underserved, underrepresented businesses uh, in particular. Um, we are doing a variety of marketing uh, and promotions campaign, right? So we have this uh, San Mateo County Open for Business digital campaign. So where we're actually placing ads for specific businesses. Overall, we've done 15 ads so far to support uh, businesses during this COVID-19 time. Uh, they've gotten like 30,000 clicks. It's got an incredible amount of engagement that we're getting with these ads. So we know that consumers are finding these ads and they're going to these business, these businesses sites um, and doing business with, the, with, with these businesses after seeing um, these ads online, which is great. The other thing I want to stress, this is a free program with free services and free offerings, free consulting uh, to help assess where you're at and where to measure up, uh, free uh, um, actual money available to give to businesses in the form of, of rebates and incentives and free marketing. So there's a lot of, um, you know, there, there, there's a lot of um, money that we're essentially offering to businesses to help them during this time. Um, a couple more things I want to mention before I wrap it up and maybe take a couple of questions. Uh, there's, we partner with other, uh, other service providers and other, um, other programs to, 
to meet these green business measures and help businesses green up, uh, particularly in the areas of energy, in the area of waste management. Um, a couple of programs I want to mention. One is the B, is the Bay Rand program, which is a Bay Area Energy Upgrade Funding and Assistance Program. Uh, it provides free energy assessment and pay perf performance upgrades, which basically means that the payment for the for the upgrades, whether it's you know one of these categories on the left here, interior lighting, refrigeration, HVAC, is paid for out of your utility bill. So there's no out-of-pocket cost to participate in this program, um, and it's turnkey. They install no maintenance. Um, they're also adding on to this zero percent micro loans, and with COVID, they have a fifty percent cash match. So if you need any of these energy upgrades, it's a good time to contact the Bayren program. I have the link right there. Um, to access this funding. Another funding I'm going to mention is something called the Self-Generation Incentive Program, which is basically, uh, it's funding for energy storage, so for battery capacity to prevent um, unexpected uh, shutdowns of, uh, uh, of energy. Um, so those are two programs that I want to mention that we're working with. Um, there's many more that we bring to the table. Um, these are a couple that jump to the top. Um, finally, in conclusion, I just want to put this out there. We, you know, we ask, well, when we start working with businesses, we say, you know, why do you want to be certified? They're like, oh, well, we'd love to get the free assistance. We'd love to figure out how to save some costs on our energy bill. Um, and then after businesses go through the process, we ask them again, you know, why did you want to be a green business? And the answers tend to be more like these. It's the right thing to do. It matched our company goals. Simply put, it's a point of pride. Um, we want to do the right thing. We want to inspire others. Um, and so we're finding that, you know, people come to the program with an, uh, an initial set of, um, for an initial set of reasons to, to save money and get the benefits, but they, but they end up really seeing it as a point of pride for their business to demonstrate their commitment to sustainability uh, and, and being green. So uh, uh, in conclusion, I have the website up here um, if anybody listening wants to register right away, it's a simple process. You go to the website, greenbusinessca.org. You enter some basic information about your business. Um, and then from there, you're registered online. I will go ahead and follow up with you to uh, come up with a plan for um, assessing where you're at, walking through the green business checklist, um, and moving along with a certification process. Uh, my contact information is down there uh, below. Um, and with that, I think we're at our time here, actually exactly, 10.28. Uh, so I will open it up to any questions um, or anything anybody else wants to, wants to share. If anybody has any questions, you can unmute and ask your question directly. Hi, Lawrence. Uh, this is Paul. I'm part of the chamber, and I was just wondering, um, it looks like, I mean, I, I love the presentation that you provided today. Is that available at the website you just provided? Uh, it's not, but I can make, we can make, I can make it available. Um, okay. I know that uh, Pauline mentioned that she's recording this. Uh, webinar and going to put it up on YouTube. Right. Uh, and if you want to send your presentation on, I'll send it to uh, the people that registered. Fantastic. Yeah, I'd be glad to forward the presentation. Um, Thank you. Absolutely. Great. Thank you. Cheryl, are you on? Did you join us? I am. I am on. So uh, thank you, Lawrence. That was uh, very informative. And I'm even uh, more uh, proud that we actually are a green certified chamber of commerce and I encourage everyone else to do the same. Uh, it uh, really is a pretty seamless uh, effort. Um, uh, I saw Paul on there. I, I certainly think banks uh, would be fairly simple. Um, Jim De La Torre, I, um, I uh, think yours could be pretty seamless. Uh, you know, there are some businesses that probably it would be difficult, but um, it is a, a badge of honor. And so thank you so much, Lawrence. And um, we are having uh, three more webinars next week. And 
Uh, we're going to learn more about the PPP loan, actually what you should be doing with the money to uh, make it last and uh, in things that won't get you in trouble. So uh, with that, have a wonderful weekend. Sorry, I can't see all of you in person. I miss everybody. And um, uh, that's all I have to say. So have a great day. Bye -bye. Great. Thanks, Lawrence. I'll be in touch. This is Pauline um, about the, the marketing. I love the ads you did like for Tools Garage and some of the oh, other yeah. businesses. How would the chamber get involved with that? Uh, let's follow up about that. Okay, great. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to, and we're having a lot of success from, from those ads. So we're, um, we have uh, approval from the county to continue doing those um, and we have funding set aside. Um, nice. Yeah. So it's, it's been for us, it's been a great opportunity because we're figuring out, you know, how can we support our businesses during this time? How do we support all businesses, but particularly the ones that have made a commitment to this program. Um, and this is, this is one way that we can do that. Yeah. Great. Okay. We'll touch base offline. Absolutely. Thank you again, everybody. Have a yeah. great day. Thanks everyone. I'm available um, anytime too for follow-up questions. If anybody, um, you know, wants to explore the program more or just has a simple question, I'm, um, I'm available. Thank you, Lawrence. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks.